Shepard, right. my hard question first. Yeah. I know you wanted to do the lowest scoring dance of the night for your fans, but you had already done it once before in a repeat dance, like the encore. So why did you want people to see it again? It was a while ago, though, wasn't it? It was, it was like a couple months. Only you would know that. <laughs> no. um, it was week three. It was a long time ago. And you know what it was? It was just it signified. It was sort of a representation of who we were as a couple. You know what I mean? That was a dance where we go, this is who we've been all season. You know what I mean? So... Don't you want that highest score at the end of this competition for the final? I don't think it's about the highest score. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's so close. To just but it's not, it's not about the score. It's about knowing you put everything out there. And I remember when they first said you're doing a repeat dance, the first thing that comes to mind is what's your favorite? What are you most proud of? And I remember in week three doing the quick step and being on top of the world. I thought that was the best thing we'd ever done. So getting to live that again was, was worth it. So do you think your fans will be happy that you decided to break the rules and do it again, or will they be mad that you broke the rules? Hmm. Well, honestly, to be honest, I, I feel like that it's the all-star season. It's, it's the all-star season. It's the finals. And what are rules? You know what I mean? Really, we're entertaining people. Like This is entertainment. It is a competition. But we're here to entertain, and that's who we, we, what we've done all season. And for us to sort of change the choreography and dumb it down for an extra point or two, you know, that wouldn't be who we are. You know, that we'd be sacrificing the, our, the integrity of who we are as a couple, which is, you know, pushing the bar and, and raising, you know, raising the stakes for everybody. It makes me understand a little bit, because when it, when it happened, and I, I looked back at my notes to the week you danced it, and I said, they're going to get a 27, because Len hinted that you were yeah, yeah, going to yeah, get a higher yeah, score. Yeah, yeah. All right, on to other things. When this is all over, I want fill in the blank. When this is all over, I want to go see my family. That's it? I should not know. I can't think that far. We still have a whole other day. We used to we had to go to rehearsal right now. Yeah. We have to choreograph three routines. We have to choreograph three routines, and we don't know which one's going to be in the dance tour. So hopefully, that's maybe we will make up for some points. Hopefully, no, not hopefully. I will. I will tell you that answer tomorrow when I can think straight. Let's see if you can answer that. When this is all over, I want to go, I want to gain 10 pounds, go to the gym. <laughs> I feel like a 12-year-old little boy right now. Oh, I'm gosh. like, hello. Um, yeah, just get healthy, man. Just get, just get ready to go and get ready for Christmas. I'm, I'm really excited about this Christmas, the holidays, and go see my family and my nieces and nephews and, and just kind of catch up because this, this you know, season consumes you. And uh, it's going to be good to see family. Now that it's all over, you uh, almost all over, you got to do the freestyle number. You know the audience loves its freestyle. You did some things that had people in the press room go, <gasps> just with that move that I know you said might not be as hard as it looks, but it's still good TV. Is that part of it? You want to make good TV? Definitely. I mean, we, we said from day one we're devoting the season to the audience and to the fans because... It is an all-star season. They want to see something different, and we try to do stuff different every week. And Last question, and it's another hard one. With the lowest judges' scores, do you think you deserve the Mirrorball Trophy? I think we do. I can answer that. I, I honestly feel like that this season, what it represents is being the best of the best. You know what I mean? This season is your champion of champions. This isn't a normal season, and I feel like when you say that, when you put it like that, then there is only one person that comes to mind for me. It doesn't take anything away from anybody else of what they've achieved, but to say that you're the best of the best, that's Sean. You know, Sean can do it all. She was consistent. She, she really sort of set the tone for the season. You know what I mean? Really, like, there, you know what I mean? If we, didn't, if we didn't treat the season the way we did, I don't, who knows? We don't know if people would have thought outside the box and done this and done that. You know, I feel like we kind of set that set that and then you know I mean people rose to that and then we had to keep rising and rising and she's a champion of champions so I believe she does. I think that's a good way to put it then I said it was the last question I lied there's one more thing I have to say those five girls that I talked to that were here that are just your probably your best friends and your best fans so for them to join you on the dance floor tonight was it the ultimate gift that your friends could give you? To be able to have my sisters here meant everything to me they are on top of the world right now. 
and for them to take time to come here and still support me was the best way to end this journey, the best comeback that I never got, and the best moment to end it all. So being able to share it with them was the best thing. Um, what did it mean to have them here? Uh, it meant everything to have the girls here. I trained for three years to be on the biggest stage in the world with them, and when they went off to compete at the Olympics and do so successful, to have them take the time to come back and support me in this, it really touched me. And being able to share that moment with them tonight, it was kind of like my comeback and my Olympic moment. And, of course, wouldn't be here without this guy. So, What was it like for you having uh, all her girls here? It's great. I mean, you know, what you saw, like, we did, the, you know, we our season has all been about entertaining the audience, entertaining the people, making this an all-star season. You know what I mean? We kind of, I feel like we kind of set the tone, I think, you know, with that dance in week three. And was like, guys, this is an all-star season. This is what we want to do. So here we go. You know what I mean? And how are we going to finish it out? And and I knew that we need to finish strong and something special, not just not just for the sake of doing it, but there was meaning behind it. And it was because you know this was her her moment, and what better way to share it than with her girls? And for me to sort of be involved and sort of to be able to help make it happen was incredible. And they did a phenomenal job, and uh, they couldn't have finished on a better note. There were some crazy ass lifts and tricks going on in that dance. How did you guys? Well, we knew. I mean, people all season. People were like, well, what are you gonna do? even way back way back in week three? People were like, well, what are you gonna do for your freestyle if you make it there? I'm like, I don't know. I have no idea. But I knew we had to do something that took people's breath breaths away. And I think there was like that one move. Where people were like, oh, yeah, <gasps> right? And people were like, well, oh, you know. So hopefully, it's those moments that people will remember and they'll vote because you know we do it for them. So I totally gasped at that moment. I'm not gonna lie. Were you scared? I mean, do you get scared? Uh, not really. <laughs> I was definitely scared the first few times we did it. But the only thing that made me nervous is like getting up on his shoulders. It's especially we missed that, we we missed that today in rehearsal. I was like, no, that cannot happen. So we were getting up there, and I was, I was nervous, but we made it. As soon as I got on your shoulders, I was like, yeah. I know. I, there was no. You were getting up there. Don't worry about it. I was not. Yeah. Gonna, I was just like, I don't care what happens. She's getting up there. <laughs> oh, and the, you want to hear some? This is a little inside stuff. That very last thing that me and her do that flip at the end. We were planning on doing we, that. No, no, we've never done it. We've never done it. Not once. What you saw was the first time. And mind you, with my knee and everything, I haven't really flipped in Ever. many, many months. So I so I literally, the, the last movie you see us, we come like this, and I go, do you want to do it? Like, do we're, like, it. we're like talking to each other. We're like, do you want to do it? I was like, do it. She's like, do it. She's like, do it. Did you say we're going to do it? Do it. She's like, do it. I said, all right. And I was like, and I did it. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> it was like last minute, on the floor, let's Did try for it. Like, Practice that, never practice it. No, we never practice it. We put something completely We've different in that. Never okay. practice that, ever. So let's talk about the first Scary. dance tonight. Obviously, lower scores for that. You took a rest. Actually, we got we got a half point higher. Yeah, ha lower scores than we would expect from from you guys. Sure. What do you stand by the decision? Yeah, of course. You know, we've I've said this from the beginning. You know, honestly, and with I'm, I'm, I don't want to. I'm trying to word this in the right way, but. You know, I know what the judges want. I, this is my 10th season. I know exactly what they want. But what they want, I don't feel like would be all-star. You know what I mean? I don't feel like it would be an all-star season. Those rules are kind of, would restrict you from having an all-star season, I feel. And that was a performance that the audience loved. And we've been dancing for the audience all season. And for us to sort of go, oh, it's the finals. All right, we gotta change. We gotta change everything that we've been doing all season just for the finals, just to get those extra points. I feel like would be sacrificing the integrity of who we were as a couple all season. You know what I mean? What about you, Sean? Do you feel like it was the right decision to make? Sorry. Definitely. I mean, when they when they first approach you and they say you can repeat whatever dance you want for the finale. I mean, you instantly go to your favorite one. You go to the one that makes the biggest impression of who you are and the one you had the best time doing. And that was definitely the first thing that we were thinking of and I mean we got kind of hit on the hand the first time and we knew we were going to get it this time but just showing the audience that we had one last chance and we wanted to show them yeah you know, this is what we've been showing you all week or all season and this so. is yeah and this is who we are you know what I mean it's uh and also to be honest with you the scores are p one point difference do you know what I mean a single point so percentage wise that means nothing it means absolutely nothing so you know what we, people are like, oh my gosh, you're in third, you're in third. I was like, guys, calm down, calm down. Because the points were so, the points are so close to, truly, truly we're all on an even playing field, point-wise. 
you know, it, it's really going to come down to the audience, you know, and people voting, and we just, we're happy, we're, we're, we're content with going at what we've done, you know what I mean, we're like, well, you know, we couldn't have done it anymore, and whatever happens, happens, and it's okay, because we're content, like, we're like, couldn't have done more, so we're happy. When we do it, we go, wow, you know, it's spectacle and Fierce Five, and we're doing tricks and all these things, and... But for me, what was so special about it was this underlying story, you know, of, of Sean's story. And it was soft. It was a moment. It was a tender moment that she got to share that last moment with the girls. And it was, I was just honored to be around them and to, to be around that. So it was amazing. He's given me back something that will last forever and in a 13-week time period. Uh, coming off of my comeback, I lost the, really the only thing that I knew. I, I found my confidence and my enjoyment and everything on a gymnastics floor. And when you don't have that, you kind of lose sight of, you know, any place to find that. And coming into a, I don't know, into dancing where I knew I wasn't the best. I knew I was somewhat insecure. I really didn't know where to find it. And each week he kind of brought a little more out of me and let me open up and have fun and find confidence and find a stage. And that meant the world to me. It was just the perfect ending, you know, and I was thinking, like, well, how can we make this big? And they're like, super size, super size. Like, you know what? It wouldn't be special if, like, they came on and they did something, you know? And I wasn't even expecting them to do what they did tonight. I was, you know, I was, I worked that out later, but just that they were there and, you know, gradually grew bigger and bigger and then they would do more things. And, but they, they jumped on board. Like, they were, that's what was so touching, too, to the fact that they were like, we're there. We're gonna be there for Sean, like absolutely. Like that was amazing. That was incredible to see. Yes, I think for sure. I think it's a, um, it's an amazing lesson. It's not over until it's over. Even though they were a little bit disappointed with their scores tonight, they came back and they got all tens. And I really hope people vote for them because we're so proud of them. We're all voting for Sean and Derek, and we love them. The week of Thanksgiving, I'm calling him up and I'm like, I know this is a big request, and I know you're with your family, but it would mean the world to have you here. And they're like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll come, we'll come, we'll come. Yes. So, but again, to to see them go into London and become the Fierce Five, these huge names, I mean, to know that they dropped everything to come here and still support me meant the world to me. And, I don't know, they're still my sisters and they always will be. We're just so excited to be here, so happy. As soon as she called us, we were literally jumping up and down of excitement. And we had so much fun out there, so uh, we hope that they're really proud of us and we really do hope that they win that uh, Mirabal trophy because they deserve it. Yeah, like she was saying thank you to us and we just wanted to say thank you to her because it was the best experience. I can't oh choose one, but there, I will a... say Miss Lil Michaela has quite the sass She has some sass. She's like, she's like, when we were doing something, I was like, well, when I walked down the stairs, she's like, do you want me to walk down the stairs like this? <laughs> and I was yeah. like, oh, you're, you're a handful. Yeah. She's hilarious, man. I think we're all up for it. We all think it's a good idea and be so much fun and just like today we were it was such an honor to come out here and do it for Sean and Derek. I mean, we're very excited. We really want them to win because they've worked so hard. Let me ask you the hard question first. When you win a competition, you want the highest scores. They chose to dance first, something they danced before that they got in trouble before. They've ended the evening in third place. What do you think about winning when you don't have the top score? Um, I mean, they took the risk, and just like Sean said, they did it for their fans. They didn't do it for the scores. And, I mean, this is that was their last dance that they were going to do here. So I know they just had fun with it, and they, they took the risk, and, you know, sometimes you have to do that. But usually, when you're in a competition, you want to see nothing but a 10, right? Definitely. Sean and Derek took the risk. Like she said, she wanted to do it for her fans. Got 10 and the next dance. You're still in third place. <laughs> She wanted to do it for, you know, her fans, and she wanted to spice it up. But, you know, for us, in, in the gymnastics world, we're not allowed to, you know, take the risk. We want to be as perfect as possible. Okay. So I, what I gathered tonight watching the five of you is that this was a blast and that one of you might like to return for next season. Absolutely. I think, you know, any of us would love to do Dancing with the Stars. It would be so much fun. And, um, you know, especially come off, coming off the Olympics, this, this is such a great experience for us. When it comes to winning, do you think – do you think there's any question that Sean won't take home the trophy? Um, I mean, we're all definitely rooting for her, and I think going out there and us being in our finale and getting those perfect tins was like the icing on top. So I think um, we're all definitely rooting for her, and I think she has so many fans back home. So I mean, I hope they can do it. Sounds like if Sean wins, she needs to share the trophy with five other young ladies. Oh, not at all. She worked so hard this whole season, and she's amazing, and she deserves 
um, the whole thing, and so does Derek. So we're so excited to be able to help them out so hopefully we um, help them to get the trophy. I asked that tough question earlier to you, and I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but my, my thing is that they've gotten all these high scores, and then suddenly, like, what are you doing? You may end tomorrow night in third place and still take the trophy, but in third place, and that's, you know, when you're used to gold. So I don't really, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a good lesson. It's not over until it's over. They, um, at they got third place in the first round, and then they came back and got 310. So I think it's just my mom used to always tell me it's not over until it's over. So I think we all use that motto when we're competing. So the last word to you, okay? I don't know because I just because I was looking your way. When you watch this show, normally the average age is a lot older than the five of you. So what would you like to say to your generation what, since you've experienced it firsthand? I would say go for it. If you have an opportunity, then take it because not a lot of many girls get this opportunity. Not a lot of, not many teenagers get this, you know, good uh, vibe. So I would say take it. Why not? Take a chance. Take a chance. Take a chance. I feel like you had something you wanted to say before I left. Oh, we just want to say we really appreciate Sean and Derek bringing us here and letting us be a part of their finale number. That's huge, and we're just really thankful.